we have come in in the in the back door. Uh, the entrance is up at the end of Riverside Street, uh, and here is the entrance as depec depicted in a, a an old postcard, uh, which indicates the uh, elaborate uh, structure, the elaborate entrance, uh, and. Uh, was in keeping with the idea that this is a nice place to come, uh, as compared to earlier times when cemeteries were uh, uh, to be avoided. They were simply a, 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 a kind of a necessity, but you didn't uh, go there for any recreation. Uh, well, I'm sure that was quite expensive. To put out. Yes, I, it's, a, it's a wooden wooden structure. Wooden structure, and it's not only a gate, but behind it, there is a building of some kind. Of, some kind. Is it still there? No, no, it's not there. There's a new uh, stone kind of uh, gateway, and you'll see it at the very end of the, at the end of the tour. As I say, we're coming in the back door. Uh, I have uh, Janus Elder here, and his his name is on this side of the stone. Uh, it's a family plot. Uh, here's Janus Elder, uh, our historian. And now I turn your attention to uh, the grave of William Noltus, uh, the first one on the left, uh, who was killed uh, in the Civil War. And we do happen to have a picture of him. He, uh, he uh, joined at the very beginning. He was a captain in, the, uh, in Company F of the 1st Main Regiment, uh, and Company F was the Lewiston, uh, one of the Lewiston uh, regiments. Uh, but it was 1864 when he was, uh, he was killed. So uh, we know him. Uh, <coughs> Okay. Any, if there are any questions, you certainly ask them as you go along. Battle he fought in at that point in uh, September '64. Was it um, west or? I I do have it recorded, but I don't remember offhand. Yeah. Offhand. We're stopping here uh, because uh, Jacob B. Ham, Jacob Barker Ham, is buried here. I think his, his name is on the other side uh, of that large monument. He was the first mayor of Lewiston when Lewiston was incorporated in 1863. Well, it was incorporated in 61, but they organized in 63. Uh, and I am told, I've not counted, but I'm told that there are 22 of Lewiston's mayors uh, here in this cemetery. We're not going to visit each one, but it's, it's appropriate that we at least visit the first, and we will also visit at least a couple others, uh, maybe three. Uh, in the process of doing other things, some of them became mayors as well. Now, is he a relative of yours? Uh, we have common ancestry, yes. I do descend from Ham family, ham line. Okay, looking at the Manning Monument. Uh, I'm interested in particular uh, in uh, General uh, Stephen H. Manning, also of the Civil War. Uh, again, the, the names are on both sides of the uh, monument. Uh, he's, I, I find him interesting in that he's fairly elusive uh, in part, but at least he was, he was a, a general uh, and he was in the quartermaster division, that is uh, providing the supplies and provisions for the, for the troops. Um, but I, I can't find much about him. Uh, There was, uh, we, we do have a drawing of him. 
Well, I, I'm, I'm forgetting my uh, visual aids here. <laughs> Here's Jacob Barker Ham, the mayor, and I uh, also should note that he was uh, a, a merchant and had a store on Haymarket Square, which was the square at the uh, intersection of Lisbon and Main Streets in Lewiston, uh, a little bit up. And this was located where the Department of Human Services uh, building is now. But it was Haymarket Square in, in the 19th century, throughout the 19th century. Uh, farmers would come in to sell their hay to uh, Lewiston residents who had horses but did not have hay fields. Uh, and he ra ran a grain and feed uh, store. Uh, and so he was in the agricultural heritage of Lewiston. Okay, now uh, with General Manning, he was uh, interviewed by in the Lewiston Daily, in the Lewiston Evening Journal, and uh, he was photographed. And if, uh, I guess what they did was they photographed uh, the uh, individuals and then drew the pictures in the newspaper <laughs> because they were not they were not uh, publishing photos in the newspaper in the they were just beginning to illustrate things in the late 1880s uh, and so we do have a uh, photograph they they indicated many times that they this is a photograph but it isn't a photograph, <laughs> it's a drawing by E.A. Sturgis, the, the person on the staff who uh, uh, copied uh, the photograph. Uh, but uh, Manning was fairly wealthy, as indicated by his house, which was, which is still in existence, uh, which is uh, near the intersection of Burse and Main Streets. Uh, it's between the home health, the home health facility, uh, and Montello Street in that area. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, it. but where did he get his money? I wonder because uh, his he came from uh, uh, his parents didn't have very much money. Uh, and I don't know where he got his money. In this interview, uh, it indicated that he was uh, married to uh, a wealthy Southern uh, wife, <laughs> but she was from Rumford, Maine. And so <laughs> I don't. And then there are hints. Well, sorry. There, are, there are hints in what I've read that he was somehow involved in reconstruction. So I'm not sure whether he got his uh, money from his quartermaster duties and he was raking some off, <laughs> or whether it was because of reconstruction, something he was doing then. And I don't know whether this wife was, uh, was a, a cover uh, for where he got his, actually got his milk. Well, uh, I don't want to cast aspersions upon this, uh, this no uh, general, but who knows? <laughs> I'm going to con continue to see what I can find out about him. Uh, but he's, he's, he was praised uh, after the Battle of Gra Chancellorsville for his efficiency in uh, uh, his supply of the troops and in preparation for the battle, uh, and so, uh, but that's the only real mention of him in all of the records of the Civil War, the published records, and it covers many uh, shells, shells of uh, What did you say records. his occupation was? He was, a, he was a quarter, other oh, than and then, like, what? Other than being in the military? After being? Yeah. A farmer. They called him a farmer. And uh, Manning Avenue is, is, is named after him or his family. That, that uh, area of Lewiston was uh, his farm. Okay. How do you 
there. His house? Mm. Is it still there? Oh yes, his yeah. house is still there. Uh, it's a recent is picture. It is it by Manning Avenue somewhere? Or? Uh, well, Manning Avenue is uh, over, the, over the hill, uh, down the hill. Uh, Burr Street is the closest street, and it's between the home health facility. Is that what they call it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andrew Scoggin Home, home Health. You see the Libby, Libby Mansion, right? Uh, the Libby Mansion? Uh, Andrew Scoggin Home Health. Home oh, health. that's the Libby Mansion, yeah. yes. And so then there's one other house, and then this house, Manning's house, is the next one. Right on Main oh, Street. Right on Main Street, oh, yeah. as you're going out Main Street's on the left. Uh -huh. It sets, sits back a little bit from the street. Uh, yeah, stonework out in front. It's not true. I don't, I don't remember stonework. No, no. Uh, anyway, it's, uh, so it's still there. Take a look. Yeah. One of the themes here is that these people left traces. Their homes, their businesses, and so forth uh, here in Lewiston. So they're not just uh, uh, dead and gone. Okay, now. Take your, keep an eye out for the Burse Monument, B-E-A-R-C-E. -E. Uh, David Cowan uh, was the mayor of Lewiston. Uh, uh, he was a, an agent uh, for the uh, uh, mill owners, uh, managing the uh, Bates Mill, and then he uh, owns the uh, Cumberland Mill. He, this is what he looks like. Uh, he uh, said, often said he was a Belgian by birth, Scotchman by heritage and an American by choice. <laughs> uh, he, uh, uh, his parents were uh, of Scot or were, were Scotsmen, and uh, they happened to be in Belgium when he was born. Uh, <laughs> but he uh, was uh, the. Uh, okay, I've, I've talked. About, I, I'm, I'm so really sorry. Uh, Scratch was his, his industrial. Cowan Mill. Cowan Mill. The mill that burned recently. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, by right. the falls. It was his. Uh, was, uh, you mean set uh, on what fire. He owned. <laughs> and uh, he, he uh, uh, was part of our heritage in that. So, uh, no reason to do that. I'm getting, I'm getting my script mixed up. Uh, okay. But a great monument here. Uh, yeah. Lots of marble. Yep. Uh, indicating nice his, place uh, to be buried overlooking the river. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. And he, and he was a mayor. He was a mayor for a couple terms. Oh. Two separate terms. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Mm-hmm.